We get really busy making horrific smells for scare mazes. Lots of things like rotting flesh, um, urine, poo, really horrible things to get people's senses tingling. When it comes to a good scare, sometimes just seeing and hearing things isn't enough. Sometimes you have to smell the fear. So smell has a really powerful effect on how our minds work. Um, our smell receptors are connected to the part of our brain that processes memories and emotions, how we behave. <sighs> Hidden around this maze are special infusers. The smells are made by mixing scented oils to a 30-year-old secret recipe. It's quite dark in our scare mazes, uh, especially towards uh, night time if our guests' eyes haven't had time to adjust. They might not be able to see everything, uh, but smell is a sense you can't really trick. Uh, you can't really trick your nose, which is uh, what we really use to our advantage. And what can be used to scare can also be used to care. So we don't always do horrific things for scare mazes. What we do a lot of the time is we supply smells to care homes. You never lose your olfactory memory, which is your smell memory. Um, this is really important to take advantage of with people with dementia. I think it's lovely. Go about all the old fashioned smells. I love the old smells. How do you feel when you smell it? I don't know how would I feel. Relaxed, I suppose. Nice to go back to remember, remember the things of the old days. Some of these smells are now being used in therapy at the Blandford Grange Care Home, especially pongs from the past like tobacco and coal fires. It's not 2D anymore, is it? It becomes um, almost four-dimensional. You can smell the smells, you can look at pictures. It, it brings the whole thing to life and helps people, particularly people with dementia, to uh, connect to those times, connect to those memories. So smell is very much almost a way of mind control. You can scare people or you can make them remember things and uh, gain a feeling of comfort from the memories that they bring back. Ben Moore, BBC South Today.